Music technology, mixers, amps, and loudspeakers. The mixing console, more commonly referred to as a mixer, is used to combine lots of different sounds together. This is what a mixer looks like. It is arranged into vertical strips, and each vertical strip is known as a channel. Each channel is numbered from left to right. So this is channel 1, this is channel 2, this is channel 3, and so on. Each channel contains a different musical instrument sound. So, let's add some musical instruments and connect them to the mixer. First, we'll add a guitar, then a keyboard, and then a microphone to sing into. We connect these to the mixer using cables. The cables go from the instrument into the top of the mixer. So we will connect the guitar to channel 1, the keyboard to channel 2, and the microphone to channel 3. We can now change all of these sounds separately. We can change the volume using what is known as a fader, and lots of other things, which we will study another day. So, how does the sound get into the mixer? And what is inside the cable? Let's have a look at the guitar. We have our guitar, and we connect it to the mixer using a cable. There's no sound inside the cable, but instead there is electricity although a very, very tiny amount of electricity. These things on the electric guitar are called pickups, and they turn the sound of the guitar strings into electricity. A mixer can take many different sounds and mix them all together. We can mix a guitar, a keyboard, a vocal microphone, some drums, maracas, and anything you want. We can change all the sounds so that each one sounds perfect, and then all those sounds get sent to the master channel. The master channel is where all the sounds are put together, and then they are sent out of the mixer. Usually, they are sent as two different signals. A left signal and a right signal. One for the left speaker and one for the right speaker. Remember that the electrical sound signals inside the mixer are all very tiny and weak. Where do the signals go when they leave the mixer? Well, they go to the amplifier. The amplifier, more commonly known as an amp, is where these weak little electrical signals are made much bigger and stronger. The left and right signals coming from the mixer might look something like this. The amplifier takes them and makes them much bigger. It amplifies them. Notice how the two shapes are the same, but the second one is bigger. Why does the electrical signal need to be big and strong? Because it has to move the loudspeakers to make sound. The loudspeakers, more commonly referred to as speakers, are where the electricity finally gets turned back into sound that we can hear. Here is what a speaker looks like. It consists of a circular cone, which is made of thick paper or cardboard. In the middle of this cone is something called a driver. This is the part of the speaker that moves, causing the cone to vibrate, and creating sound waves in the air. How does the driver move? Electricity comes from the amp and makes the driver move. The movement of the driver makes the cone move, which makes the air vibrate, and we get sound. So, let's recap. 
the musicians make sound. A microphone, or the musical instrument itself, turns that sound into electricity. These tiny electrical signals are mixed together in the mixer, which sends a left and right signal to the amplifier. The amplifier makes these weak signals strong enough to move the loudspeakers and they make the air vibrate, creating sound.